Hello everybody, it is day two of the French lockdown and day three of working at home, according to CERN. Um, so I'm here in my home office, which is kind of a work in progress at the moment. Um, if you hear noise in the background, it's my neighbor's kids playing outside, so <laughs> things are a little bit different than they, they would normally be where I'm in my own private office where I can just close the door. Um, just gonna have to be patient with this, I guess. Um, I, I thought I would talk a little bit about how work at CERN is actually being affected by the changing regulations and, and shutdowns. So over the past week, I've been in two different workshops. Um, one of them was a meeting of about 30 or 40 people, and this was all held on video conferencing. And, you know, things, things were fine. We had some good discussions. Uh, we had a separate chat going on Mattermost, which was nice. But, um, you know, one of, one of the drawbacks of these video-only meetings is that you lose things like coffee breaks, where you can chat with people one-on-one -on -one or in small groups. And this is really where a lot of the interesting discussion and, and work happens. And we've lost access to that for the foreseeable future, so that kind of sucks. Um, another thing that wasn't so great was we have two colleagues who are retiring at the end of the month who have been with us for a long time, and we were planning on having a retirement celebration and goodbye party for them, and that's obviously been cancelled. So it's a bit of a disappointing way to end your career, I have to say, but there's nothing we can do. So... Um, the other meeting that we've had this week has been a larger meeting of uh, 100 plus people. And this one's been a little bit more challenging because it seems like our video conferencing system uh, between this meeting and all of the other parallel meetings which are happening at the same time are really putting a lot of stress on our, our video conferencing. So people have been complaining about not being able to connect and not being able to participate. And, you know, again, it's it's not great because a lot of people normally come from, from out of town for these meetings. So again, we're missing out on discussions with colleagues and, you know, some of these people are in Japan or the US or Canada. So we've had to rearrange our, our meeting schedule, which means sometimes listening to talks at 7.30 p.m. or something like this, which is not awesome if you're trying to keep a normal routine to maintain your sanity, but we have to do what we can. Um, in terms of the work itself, uh, things are very uncertain at the moment. So I'm coordinating an upgrade project, a hardware upgrade project, and all of our work had been taking place uh, in a lab on site at CERN, and as of Yesterday, this has been completely shut down. All of our equipment has been powered off and we no longer have access to it. We also had to shut off our system, which is running underground in Atlas. So this has all been shut off. We can't do any more tests locally. And aside from a, a couple of super experts who are allowed in only in cases of extreme emergency, none of us can go anymore. So. It's been pretty frantic uh, over the past few days. The regulations from CERN have been changing by the day, sometimes more than once per day. Uh, so we've been scrambling to you know, put together lists of people who would have access in various circumstances to, to give to security. Uh, we had to make sure that all of our systems were shut down and in a safe state. Some of our modules had to be removed and you know, packed up and mailed to other labs off-site. And for a little while, we didn't even know if we could do this because we didn't know if the post was running. So that's been pretty crazy. Um, and trying to coordinate some of this from home office is not ideal. So it's it's been a very interesting exercise. But finally, everything is done and switched off. Um, all of our people are safe People are leaving to go back home. Uh, we had a couple of people who were staying in the hostel on site and we didn't know what was going to happen to them, but finally it seems like they're okay and they will fly out on Friday. So everything's fine now and uh, we can take a break, relax. Obviously too much stress is not good for your physical health when you're trying to 
avoid catching the killer virus. So I think everyone will just take a break and relax for a day or so. We'll keep listening to our remote meetings and uh, then we see what happens. Obviously, if we can't do tests in our lab on site, our commissioning of our new upgraded system is going to happen at a very reduced pace. So we still have to evaluate and see what people can do at their home institutes or at home. Obviously, some things can't be done. If you don't have a lab to do your work in, then you can't work. But people can still work on software or you know do firmware documentation. So something will get done. We're just not quite sure what and how fast it will happen. So impact on uh, physics progress is yet to be understood. But everyone is safe, everybody is healthy, our equipment is safe, so that's what matters. For myself, I have my home office. It's a beautiful day outside, so I'll probably go have a coffee break on the terrace in between listening to presentations. I have a nice supply of coffee and chocolate biscuits, so I think I'm all set. And I will talk to you again soon.